Aladdin Creations. Hello guys, welcome to another video of Aladdin Creations. My name is Kavindu. Today in this video, I am going to discuss with you one of the most important terms used in medical laboratories, PPE or Personal Protective Equipment. Actually, what does mean by personal protective equipment? Why personal protective equipment are most important for medical laboratories? How do you select most appropriate personal protective equipment? How do you remove personal protective equipment once you have used? We'll discuss in this short video. Basically, personal protective equipment are one of precautionary steps to protect yourself from any of hazardous or biohazardous materials. If we talk about the personal protective equipment used in medical laboratories, it is special clothing and other necessary wearings worn by laboratory professionals in order to gain the protections against dangerous and infectious materials that they encounter in the laboratories. This person protective equipment creates a protective barrier between a person and hazardous material and then avoid the contact with those harmful agents. Why it is important for laboratories? Medical laboratories are full of dangerous and hazardous agents including toxic chemicals, radiations, charms, biological infectious materials and agents its splashes, etc. Therefore, we can use personal protective equipment to prevent or control the spread of infections and to refrain from exposure to dangerous agents in order to protect the health of ourselves and the surroundings. How do you select personal protective equipment? First, assess the workbench to determine whether hazards are present and what type of infectious materials are there to deal with. Then, select the appropriate personal protective equipment that fits to you and which has been maintained in a correct manner. Examples for personal protective equipment Face mask, appropriate gloves, floor length pants closed toed shoes, face slide, earplugs, aprons, gowns or lab coats, respirators, eye goggles, etc. Let's talk briefly about several and common personal protective equipment used in medical laboratories. Face masks. Several types of face masks available in the market which are vary in shape and size. We can wear masks to protect our mouth and nasal area from droplet transmitted diseases agents and from aerosols. Goggles or face lights. They avoid the contact of splashes, spray of infected fluid, hazardous vapors and fine particles with mucous membrane of eyes or nose and mouth. Goggles are superior than the eye glasses as goggles protect the surrounding area of the eye as well. But if you are dealing with laser or UV light, especially made eyewears should be used. However, all the goggles and face light should not interfere with the functions of the glasses that the laboratory persons in dealing with. Clouds. There are various types depending on work you are involved, heat resistant, powder free, cold resistant, etc. However, you need to select the right type of clouds depending on the chemical degradation, permission rate, bake throughout time, etc. And also the right size that fit to your hand. Respirators. Respirators available in the market are very in size, shape and the protection it provides. If you wear a respirator which is filled enough to you, it will provide the protections not only from the droplets but also from airborne infections as well. 
but if it is not fitted well, it is similar to that of face mask. Gowns, aprons, or lab coats. They will help to protect your skin and minimize the exposure against the splashes, infections, droplets, abrasions, cut, vapors, etc. But the correct size of gown should be worn and sleeves should be fitted at the end. Food covers. It is recommended for people who are having danger of foot injuries due to hazardous spillages, slip hazards, object piercing, sole, etc. It is recommended to wear closed toed shoes in medical laboratories. Hearing protections, earplugs, or muffs. These items can be used in laboratories where they are an exposed to excessive noise. However, this can be rarely seen in medical testing laboratories. How to remove personal protective equipments once you have used? It is recommended to remove personal protective equipments according to the following order gloves, goggles, gown or lab coats, shoes, mask, and respirators. Since gloves are contaminated heavily than other personal protective equipment, you should remove it first. And once you remove personal protective equipment, discard according to the infectious waste controlling guidelines. Reusable personal protective equipment should be immediately cleaned after each use and store them in a proper way. Finally, remember, wearing a personal protective equipment does not eliminate the hazard. They should be properly fitted and maintained. Not only the personal protective equipment, but also the good hygiene is very important. Well, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gain knowledge about this PPE or personal protective equipment. So, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.